Hey everyone, welcome back. Now you might be having the slow performance, lagging or the freezing issues on your Windows 10 or 11 just because of multiple unwanted services running in the background. Now probably you don't know about these services or you don't use them, but they still run in the background, occupy a lot of resources and that turn into the slow performance issues. So in this video guys, I will be sharing 24 unwanted services that you need to go ahead and disable them. Now before that, let me show you, if I bring up the task manager and go to the performance, so right now you can see I'm not running any kind of application here, even if I show you in the process count here. So still, you can see the utilization is around 10 to 13 percent. The process count is around 85 because I have already optimized with my this computer. The thread is around 1372 and the handle count is around 38,000. And the memory usage is around 72%. So this is exactly what we will try to reduce. And once we will be done disabling the services, you will find the difference over here. Alright, so keep this figure in your mind. Keep this memory usage in your mind. And now next what you have to do, click on your Windows search. Type services. And hit the enter key. Now this will bring up the dedicated box of the services. And from here only we can manage all kind of our Windows services. Now the very first service that you have to disable will be assigned access manager service that you will be getting on the top. Now basically this service is used to set up the kiosk mode that allow you to place restriction on your computer and this mode is not needed if you don't use a public facing computer. Now if you want to read more about it you can make a double click on it and here also it will give you some information. Okay so now in order to disable the service from the startup type you will have to click on the drop down and choose it to disable then you will have to click on stop click on apply and click on ok and then next we have the bitlocker drive encryption now bitlocker is a service from the microsoft to encrypt your hard drive but majority of the people they don't use it even i recommend not using it if you are a normal user so if you are also one of them who is not using the bitlocker and don't want to use it again make a double click on it from the startup type, choose it to disable, click on stop, apply and OK. Now the next one is the optional, that is the Bluetooth. So if you don't use the Bluetooth services for connecting any kind of hardware or doing any kind of data transfer, there is no need to keep this Bluetooth service on because it occupy a lot of resources in the background. So again, you can make a double click on it. And if you are not using the Bluetooth, just double click on it, click on disable and click on stop. Now, if you are planning to use the Bluetooth in the future, no worries, you can come back to the same page and enable it. Click on apply and click on OK. Do the same with the Bluetooth support service. Choose it to disable, click on stop. Click on apply and click on OK. And the next you have to disable the connected user experience and telemetry. Here it is. And this service is basically responsible for sending your usage and diagnostic data to the Microsoft server. And I really don't recommend that. So if you want to disable it, so make a double click on it and the startup type disable and stop the service. Click on apply and click on OK. Then you have to look for the diagnostic execution service. So scroll down to the D section and here you will find the diagnostic execution service. So basically all these four services are used to do any kind of troubleshooting, run troubleshooting tool on your Windows 10 and 11. But now on Windows 11, they are not supported anymore. And so if you are on Windows 11, it's better to go ahead and disable all these services. So again, click on them one by one, choose it to disable and click on stop, click on apply, click on OK. Do the same with the other here. And next you have to look for the geolocation service. So come to the G section and here you'll find the geolocation service. And the geolocation service is basically for using the map application on your computer that I believe that none of the people might be using it. So if you're not using any kind of map application, then you have to go ahead and disable it. And even if you want to read about it, you can read from the description. So go ahead and disable it. Click on stop. Click on apply and click on OK. You can also do the same with the game DVR. If you're not using the game DVR feature, go ahead and disable that. Now, in case if you get any kind of error for any services that say the parameter is incorrect, 
then no worry simply go ahead and close it so once you have disabled the geolocation you also need to look for the map manager so look for maps manager here in the m section like on my end i don't find it but if you find the maps manager then again you will have to go ahead and disable that and now next we have the net logon so come to the end section and you will find the net logon now this service is basically meant for the people who are connected to any kind of domain or any kind of organization so if this is your personal computer no need to enable this option go ahead and double click on it and then you have to look for the parental control make a double click on it again and it says enforces parental control for a child account in the windows now this is another feature of the window that basically help the parents to uh, create a child account for the parental control and if you're not using this feature no need to keep this enable just go ahead and disable that then scroll down a bit and you will find the phone service now this service is basically used to manage the connection between your computer and the mobile devices and if you're not connecting your uh, laptop internet using the mobile hotspot or doing any similar work then you can also go ahead and disable this and then below you will find the print spooler and if you're not using any kind of printer on your computer then again go ahead and disable it but if you are using the printer no need to disable this or else the printer will not work all right so click on apply click on ok and similarly you can look for the fax service somewhere you will find the fax you can look for it and if you're not using the fax you can also disable it then again you scroll down a bit and you will find a remote desktop configuration and this is basically for establishing the connection using the remote desktop application so if you don't use any kind of remote desktop services it's really recommended that go ahead and disable this as this will also help you to reduce any kind of uh, hacking issues on your laptop or pc so make a double click on it go ahead and disable them click on stop click on apply click on ok you can do the same with the remote desktop services you can disable them do the same with the other remote desktop services and then come down to the s section and you will find the sensor service and the sensor services manage the integration with the sensors like gps and the ambient light sensor so if you're not having any kind of work related to this again make a double click on it and choose it to disable click on stop apply and ok and now next you have to look for the smart card a smart card device enumeration and a smart card removal policy now these services are main for uh, the authentication purpose using the smart card and basically if you use your mouse and keyboard to log into your device no need to keep this running again make a double click on it and disable all of them once done now you scroll down to the w section and here you have to look for the windows biometric service and this service enable the fingerprint to unlock the functionality on the laptop so if you're not using this kind of services again make a double click on it and go ahead and disable it then scroll down a bit and you'll find the windows error reporting service again make a double click on it and this service basically capture the event whenever you face any kind of error on your windows it generate the information about the error and send it to the microsoft for the further diagnostic now basically according to me this service doesn't help at all because it sent the data but you don't get any kind of help from that server or from that diagnostic so again you can choose the startup type to disable click on stop click on apply and click on ok then you have to look for the work folder so scroll down and somewhere you will find the work folder again double click on it and you can read about this service here that says the service sync file with the work folder server enabling you to see the file on any of the pcs see again if you're not connected to any kind of domain or any kind of server no need to keep this to enable go ahead and disable them and click on apply and click on ok next you have xbox accessory management service again make a double click on it and if you're not using the xbox application or xbox services go ahead and disable them do the same with the xbox live auth manager and xbox live game save all right i miss few of them in between i guess the wallet service i'm not sure i covered that or not you also need to look for the wallet service here it is make a double click on it and this service is basically for the wallet so if you're not using any kind of wallet on your windows 11 no need to keep this enabled go ahead and disable them apply and okay 
then you can also look for the windows mobile hotspot service so come to windows mobile hotspot service here it is and if you're not using the mobile hotspot then you can go ahead and disable them click on apply click on ok then you can look for the touch keyboard and handwriting panel i don't find on my computer but if you find any service by the name touch keyboard and the handwriting panel service you can disable it if you don't use any kind of osk and now the last one is the sysmain you can come to the s section and look for sysmain again make a double click on it now if you read here basically it says maintain and improve the system and performance over the time but what i have noticed i have disabled this on multiple uh, computer and it really made a difference not too much but of course it will show you some kind of difference i don't know why enabling this option says maintain and improve the performance as i found and many people found that after disabling the services the performance was being increased so you can try the same just disable it click on stop click on apply and click on ok so now you're all done and this time if i close it and bring up the task manager i believe i have to restart the computer but still i can go ahead and check it all right so i can see the difference here the process the thread and the handle count has been reduced uh, but still i will go ahead and make a restart and see what happened okay so the computer has been restarted and this time if i bring up the task manager and this time if i go to the performance so you can see the process count that was around 84 or 85 i guess now it has been reduced to 74 the thread count that was above 1300 now it has been come to 1200 and the handle count i believe it was around 36 or 37000 now it has been reduced to 33 so this kind of difference you will be getting by just disabling the unwanted services that you are not using it and don't worry it will not be affecting any of your computer performance or any of the feature so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this information useful and if you like the video make sure that you hit the like subscribe for more related videos in the future till then take care bye bye